Okay, today we're going to be talking about Fighting Tops, which is, uh, these specifically are from uh, Firelock Games for the Blood and Plunder ships that I've been working on. Uh, but you could, I'm sure you could do this with any Fighting Top. And essentially what I've been doing, I decided kind of from the get-go, is to put Rare Earth Magnets in here. Uh, so that uh, my miniatures, which I base on washers, can be placed in the rigging. And it gives them a little more stability. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but it's definitely better than just kind of balancing the model up there. And as long as you're not too violent with uh, how you move the uh, the model, you can get a nice little blunder monkey in the uh, rigging there. Um, so well, let's look at the first step is we're going to drill out the holes. All right, here I am working on, uh, I'm working on the, uh, the fighting tops. for This is specifically for the galleon, but I did it for um, the light frigate and I did it for the six-ray frigate. And I'm, I'm uh, plan on doing it for uh, the uh uh, the flute when I work start working on that but basically what all I did is I just used a small drill tool that was the size of the magnet I'm using and I drilled it out now um, I decided uh, on the spacing to give me plenty of overlap because I, I use these metal washers on all my miniatures so it'll give me plenty of so I can you know I know you can only put four up here but by putting it like the extra magnets I figured that give me some overlap if the sail kind of gets in the way or the uh, you know the lines get in the way then I can kind of work it in there however but it gives me a little bit more overlap uh, you know if I can get two magnets on each uh, on each miniature I place and like I said it gives me a little more flexibility one thing I will point out that I learned kind of the hard way on the last one the six rate was to drill out both sides because of this these little like see how kind of you can, I don't know if you can see very well in the video but Basically, that kind of burrs up a little bit right there, and and that what that does it prevents the magnet from sitting kind of flush. And what I do when I do the, the finally do the magnets, uh, we'll I'll, I'll show that in a second. All right, once you got the holes drilled out, just take like a round file. You know, even with the drilling out on both sides, you still can kind of get little burrs. So just take a round file. You know, work the edges a little bit so they're nice and uh, you got a nice little hole there. And then I, I got this little like magnet like dry erase board that I picked up at like the dollar store, uh, and it's you know it says magnetized whatever. I put a piece of paper over it, and then you just take a little three millimeter magnet or whatever size you you decide to use. I think these are three by three if I'm not mistaken, uh, and then you drop it in the hole. And of course it doesn't go in right away. This one, if you have to reset it, just you know this takes a little bit of a process to make sure all the holes are good. Well, you just put the magnet in there like that, and once the magnet is set in there, you just take yourself a little dab of glue. Uh, you can use thick or thin. If you use thin, you're going to get a lot more um, of the paper when you lift the thing up. So you just dab a little glue in there, just like that. I kind of glob it in because you're going to kind of sand it in a minute anyway. So just let it, and you plus you don't want to have to, you know, once this thing's installed, you don't want to have to kind of pull it out and put it back in. All right, so once the glue dries, you just kind of pull it off of the uh, little, little base here with the paper and everything. And you'll see, like, they'll, you can use your finger to kind of pluck off the extra paper. You know, you just kind of pick it off like that, or you just kind of hit it with, a like, a file. And you give it a little, just a little bit. I mean, it doesn't take much. You know, you're going to, you know, prime this anyway. So you just hit it. And there you go. Fully magnetized. Uh, uh, with a fighting top. And like I said, you know, the tricky, the trick part, trickiest part is to uh, make sure you just drill out both sides, you know, and, and, get, and get it really good. So when you set the magnet in, it, it goes flush to the uh, whatever, like metal surface. You can use anything really, cookie pan, anything the magnets will stick to. Um, I even, I like the files too, uh, and I didn't show this, but like sometimes like they kind of, if they get like turned sideways or whatever, you can use the file to kind of push them down in. Or even like let the uh, magnets stick to the, uh, the back side of the file to handle the file. And you can kind of like push it down in there and then like kind of let go of it that way. Uh, I, that way it kind of stays in place. And then you um, hit it with the glue, give it plenty of time to dry. So, yeah, it's just a quick little thing, mod. You know, it just takes a few extra minutes to do it. And I think it's well worth it uh, if you happen to base your, your models uh, with like a washer or something else uh, to, to, that the magnets will stick to. Uh, here's the finished product um you can uh, all paint it up I, I put some contrast paint on it uh and you can just see the magnets uh blend in pretty well i mean obviously if you look close enough you can see them there uh, but i don't think they they stand out too bad you know uh as far as that goes um and they got four guys on here and they just kind of snap on and off i don't have the uh, mask glued down so it's a little wobbly there but um 
yeah, that's uh, that's it. I'm pretty happy with the end result. Looking forward to doing the rest of the ships. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we always appreciate a uh, like and subscribe. And then until next time, game well, game very well.